So we decided to、um, after we got back from Korea, we decided to do self quarantine for two weeks, and、um, David took time off of work for fourteen days. And of course, you know, it hit us financially a little bit because not only this, but flying out to Korea two times, we took about a month off total. But in the long run, it ended up being a blessing for us because,、um, you know, as you've seen our first video, Levi bonded with Dave, David from day one, and、um, he had hard time bonding with me. So, had David gone right back to work after coming back from Korea, it would have been hard for Levi losing the foster mom and then David too. But because、um, he stayed home. He was able to continue to bond, so that was a blessing for us. Whoa! So normally David has to get up early, and you know it's very busy, hustle and bustle. But、um, with him staying home for two weeks, that was really nice for us because. We can sleep in, and kids, when they wake up, they come into our bedroom and they lay down next to us. And you know, we were able to have a great family time. And also, it was such a blessing for David to stay home for two weeks because I'm not sleeping at all in the evening because Levi is waking up nonstop. Usually, eight plus times he's waking up. So.、Um, I'm probably getting max maybe two hours of sleep a night, and in the morning when the kids wake up, David takes them to the living room, feeds them breakfast, and you know has morning worship with them. And I get to sleep in about four hours or so, so that has been a real blessing for our family. So meal times, Levi has had no problem at all adjusting to our meals. When we first picked him up, the first day he ate well, and th but then the second and third day he barely ate anything because he was grieving hard. And、um, after we came to the states, he actually completely turned and he became very obsessed with food. I will share more of that in our future episodes, but he has no problem eating. And Seth, being four, Ezra being two and a half, you know, they are using beginner chopsticks pretty well. But Levi, we were hand feeding him, but then or spoon feeding him. But then I guess he was watching Ezra and Seth, and then it kind of hurt his pride that you know he was being fed while they're feeding themselves. So he insisted on feeding himself. So then now.、Um, He does spill all over, but he's doing really well with his food here. So our family, we eat vegetarian diet at home, and、um, sometimes, once in a while, we'll eat fish here and there, but barely. So we found out that Levi's favorite food is tofu. One of his favorite food is tofu. So how I cook it is I mix tofu and broccoli together, and then lightly season it with salt. And he seems to really enjoy that. And one evening, I made tajuk, which is pine nut porridge.、Um, you just blend pine nut, and then you make a porridge out of rice and just mix it together. And he seems to really enjoy that as well. Papa, this is all you do. I go eat the papa every morning. Wow. So for play time after we eat, kids like to just play on their own with their, you know, toys, cars, pop-up tents, whatever toys that we have in the house, and、um, they really like to read books or just look at the pictures in general because we don't allow them to watch any TV in our house.、Um, the most TV that they'll watch is if we ever go on play dates and TVs there, and we're not so strict as no, you're not allowed to watch, watch it on a play date. Like if we see their friends watching it, we'll be like, okay. But at home, we don't turn on the TV. Period.、Um, they also enjoy doing gymnastics, and I don't know. They, yeah, they just really get creative. Creative. And another one of their favorite 
things to do is playing with bubbles. And Tiffany, our friend, she brought the bubble machine to our house, left it in our front door because we're in self-quarantine. And they played with that one afternoon for a couple hours. So we were very thankful to her. As with many kids, our kids really enjoy playing outdoors over indoors. So we have a trampoline outside and they will play hours at a time on there, especially during this quarantine when we can't really go anywhere. So um, we're just really grateful for our little backyard. So one day my mommy group friends that I hang out with in our town. We have play dates maybe about four times a week or so. We And we're constantly texting each other throughout the day. Um, they, you know, knowing that we're doing self-quarantine, they left a sign out for Levi and also um, a gift basket for us because they can't throw us any shower or anything like that. In the basket, they had a couple of toys for the boys and Levi, of course, and then also some of my self-care kind of thing, like face mask, things like that. Yeah, we were very grateful for that. So after being cooped up in the house for days because of the quarantine, we were really getting cabin fever. As you can imagine, with three active boys, uh, it was becoming uh, a restless situation, so we just had to get out. So one day we uh, loaded up the minivan and we searched our neighborhood. We need to find an area where we can ride bikes, where there's no chance of human contact. So we're gonna go look for Maybe an empty parking lot or something like that. This is our first time going out with Levi since he got home. And we finally found an empty parking lot. So we uh, unloaded the kids and let them play. Levi tried uh, riding the toddler bicycle for a little bit, but I think he lost interest. And, uh, but he still enjoyed being outdoors and walking around and uh, picking up pebbles and eating them. Um, so uh, we had a great time. We even brought some food for a small picnic, so the kids really enjoyed that. And of course, Levi just gobbled it up. So uh, all in all, we had a, um, an awesome day. Uh, with the family outdoors, uh, breathing in the fresh air, um, and the kids didn't want to go home. Oh, oh, it's a Yeah. Boom. Down low. Fist bump. For our weekly grocery shopping, uh, we decided not to go to the supermarket because of the risk of uh, COVID. So we discovered online shopping uh, with Instacart and also Amazon Prime food delivery. So we gave it a try and it wasn't as difficult as we had thought. And the first time that we ordered, we were excited when we heard the doorbell. All the kids ran to the door and uh, when we opened the door, there they were, the grocery bags, right in front of our doorstep. The kids immediately opened the bags and of course they had started gobbling up some of the grapes right away. We ordered a bunch of fruits and ve vegetables and also some seaweed wraps uh, that our kids enjoy eating with rice. 
We also ordered some ingredients for veggie spring rolls. The spring roll wrap is round and hard, but once you dip it in water, it becomes soft. Uh, and then you can fill it up with veggies and um, a seasoning sauce. I'm a little teeny punch, short and stout. This is my candle. The three kids usually play well together. Uh, but then we discovered times when there were episodes of jealousy, um, especially when it came to uh, spending time with me. Seth had always gravitated towards his mom, so he had a very close bond with her. And so when Ezra was born, by default, I was the go-to parent uh, for affection. So. Um, his bond with me uh, was getting closer and closer and so you can imagine when Levi came along um, there was bound to be some conflict because if you saw episodes one and two um, Levi immediately from day one gravitated towards me and so when we brought him home uh, Levi and Ezra were fighting for my affection and if I was holding one of them in my lap, the other one would immediately jump on my lap also. Um, and so I had to make a rule that one would sit on my left leg and the other would sit on my right leg. And even then, Levi would be um, unhappy because he wanted the, my whole lap and not just half of my lap. <laughs> Once a week, our family observe and celebrate Shabbat, uh, also known as Sabbath. It is a sacred time from Friday sunset to Saturday sunset where we begin by lighting our Sabbath candles and singing and, and prayer. Sabbath is a happy day, happy day, happy day. Sabbath is a happy day, I love every Sabbath. During Sabbath, we disconnect from our work and the hustle and bustle of our busy lives and slow down to connect with God and reflect on His goodness and His blessings for our lives. By refraining from work, we remind ourselves that we are completely dependent upon God's care for our family. We rest in God's ability to work for us and to provide for all of our needs.